So what I'm going to talk about is a rotate tool. Um, you can use a shortcut of alphabet Q. So you can um, rotate a face or you can rotate edges um, and these um, edges could be multiple so you can actually select uh, multiple objects uh, components or groups and um, also just kinda rotate them and kinda gives you that twist effect in this case um, so th those are the things that you can rotate with it and rotate tool it actually involves a three-point click so uh, three click meaning a uh, first click will actually involve in uh, drag hold down and drag so the first click you would need to just kind of hold this position so I'm holding my mouse button and as I'm doing that the uh, the protractor actually follows along my cursor so you can decide to whether snap it onto green axis or the red or the blue so in this case let's say I wanna rotate this face um, along this red axis red axis which is running this way so I'm just holding down, down my mouse and then letting it snap onto red axis so I'm just aligning there and I let go. So that's first click. And the second click involves around the point that you want to move. So that's your um, starting point or the base point. So I want, let's say I want to move this point to somewhere around here. So I'm going to click this. So that's your second click. And then the third click is a target point. So let's say I can give the target point a distance. So you can actually type in an angle. So let's say I want to move it to this direction, um, 10 degrees. So it will actually move it to 10 degrees. So I have moved that point 10 degrees from the top to bottom. So that's what I have done. Um, instead of actually setting, trying to hold down the mouse and dragging around and trying to find your axes, you can also use a function of um, you can see it here hold shift to align to face so let's say I want to use this face or let's say this face um, uh, moving this then I can just hold down shift from here and then even uh, even though I'm located somewhere around here the protractor doesn't snap onto that face because I'm locked onto this face so for example here uh, let me show you just with a simple cube um, let's say I'm snapped onto this green axis and then I hold down shift then even though I go up on top where it should turn to blue it doesn't because I have been locked onto this position I'm holding down my shift and I, if I let go it turns into blue so you can um, and this is very essential on rotating because a lot of times you miss um, the angle that you're trying to rotate to so uh, this is what you would do uh, and you can also use um, references things like um, starting point here and then any reference around here will actually increase a certain degree around here so I can just use it here and just click or uh, just type in an angle or degree there and uh, if you go to window model info and then unit um, there's a checkbox enable angle snapping so every 15 degree where I can set it to 10 degrees that my uh, rotate tool will snap so it will kind of have that snapping effect so 10 and then 20 will kind of snap there so it will be a lot easier for you to navigate and rotate uh, things and rotate tool is a lot like um, the move tool as well so you can actually set uh, degree and toggle on control in order to create a ray so I, let's say I want to do this 20 degrees and then multiple uh, 5 times 5 X enter then it will just create that sort of array and or you can also type in um, let's say 60 degrees and then divide it by 2 so I have moved this shape uh, 60 degrees and created a shape in between so it works the same as a toggle on function of move tool and creating arrays